Do you buy vinyl? Hi, I'm Shirley from Garbage. And I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Duke Erickson. Hi, I'm Butch Vig. And this is What's in My Bag at Amoeba Records Hollywood. Okay, I'll go first, because you know, you know what I'm like. Ladies first. Okay, so I picked Perfume Genius, his new record, No Shape, which I have been listening to non-stop since it came out, and I don't have it on vinyl. So this was the first one that caught my eye, and I was like, I need to have this. It's an incredible record. He's outdone himself, and uh, I recommend it to anybody, actually. I see the sun go down. I see the sun come up. Back in 19, late 1970s or early 80s, I was in Madison, Wisconsin, went to the Majestic Theater and saw one of the strangest movies I'd ever seen in my life. It was frightening and funny and amazing. As soon as I was done, I went across the street. He was at a bar across the street, of course. I grabbed them. I said, "You have to see this. It was One of the so fantastic." And this is a Blu-ray version with a bunch of extra films, little shorts that that Lynch did. We had no idea exactly what happened in the film, so we just sat and for with a couple of friends and talked for like two hours, like trying to decipher <laughs> the imagery and the plot and everything about it. And uh, it's still, I'm still not really sure exactly what happens. So then we have this record by Cigarettes After Six, who were a band that we took on tour last year and fell madly in love with, and they're just beginning to like explode. I also got Cigarettes After Sex, their new album. They just have this incredible, stripped down, melancholic sound that makes me, and I think the rest of my bandmates feel really good. There's something about that's, uh, it's like taking drugs listening to them, I sort of got. This is a beautiful record. It's great to have sex too and it's great to cry your eyes out too. If you want to get in a really happy, bummed out mood, this is the record to listen to. So I highly recommend it. Cigarettes After Sex by Cigarettes After Sex. It's easy to remember. Got the music in your baby, tell me Okay, this is one of my favorite bands from the 60s. Zombies, Odyssey and Oracle. This is one of the most overlooked masterpieces from the era. It's the 50th anniversary of its release. Is that possible? I think so. Anyway, I love it so much. It's one of the most beautiful records. It has Time of the Season on it. That was the big hit. And I actually got to go backstage and meet the band, my heroes. It's the time of the season When we love runs high These guys, X, are like the Beatles to me. I worked at a club in the 80s in, in Madison, Wisconsin, and they, they would come through in their van, and it was always a big deal. Incredibly intense, dangerous, exciting shows. I got to like help set up microphones when they would play there and that sort of thing, and, and uh, now to be on tour with John Doe and Xene is just unbelievable. So I got this. I'm too scared to talk to them. <laughs> but I'm waiting for the right moment. In the Heights, Lynn manuel Miranda, before he became a superstar. I mean, this made him a superstar. This is for my daughter, who's obsessed beyond belief, like I think millions of other people are around the country with Hamilton, and I've seen Hamilton. It's one of the most incredible musicals I've ever seen, just politically on and just musically and everything about it. It's just incredible. My daughter said, you have to get this for me, or I'd be in deep trouble. So, that's for Bo. Cause my parents came with nothing They got a little more to show We're poor, but yo, at least we got the store It's all about the legacy They left with me is destiny And one day I'll be on the beach With Sonny Wright and Chester me Okay, I got two books because I'm really greedy I got John Doe from X Harking back to what Steve said 
But yes, I got um, a personal history of Ellie Punk by John Doe because everybody's talking about this and saying it's absolutely incredible. And then I got the Iggy biography, which is supposed to be incredible. The American Valhalla's coming out, was it yesterday? Opening the, his movie that's directed by Josh Homme. And so I'm really looking forward to that. There you go, two legends, John Doe and Iggy Pop. Okay, well being a guitar player, I had to get this. It's uh, a posthumous release of Chuck Berry's. I've been told that it's actually good, you know, for a, a record made later in one's long career. You go to my head With that smile that makes my temperature rise Okay, I got this next record, which is Argento's Opera, which is the soundtrack for his movie, I guess. And I just thought it looked interesting. There's no other reason that I picked this because I don't know what it sounds like other than Dario Argento's name was involved and they're like super cool, weird horror, horror artwork. And um, I'm just curious as to what this sounds like because I'm always looking for good intro music and this might be a hidden gem. So we shall see what we shall see. I think Shirley and I are on the same wavelength because I went to the DVDs and got The Bird with the Crystal Plumage by Dario Argento. How do I open the door? <laughs> I love his films. I love, uh, in this particular film, Ennio Morricone did the soundtrack. One of the first creepy horror films I ever saw in Verroca, Wisconsin. The small town was this film called Four Flies on Gray Velvet, and it really kind of effed me up a little bit. I was probably maybe 12 years old. My parents maybe should not have let me see it. But uh, it stuck with me, and uh, for many years. Anyway, I'm a huge fan, and this was has just been released on uh, DVD and Blu-ray, and uh, I'm super psyched to see it. I've never seen it before. Oh, it gives me the shivers. Okay, I, I don't even know what this is really. It's a fairly recent craft work, double vinyl set, but it does have Autobahn on it, so it's got to be good. And uh, the robots. Anyway, these guys kind of invented electronic music. They sort of started what we consider to be electronic dance music now, so uh, definitely uh, heroes that uh, don't get enough credit. Can't wait to hear it. Another lonely night. I also just bought the new Mac DeMarco record. I've only heard two tracks, but I love them both. One of them, it's really spare, and it's, I love his singing, and it's got this lovely keyboard line. But I, I love the production, I, and I, just what I've heard on the first two tracks, you want to get this, I think it's gonna be good. I just like his sensibility and production, and it's cool, so I'm, I'm totally psyched to hear it. I got Taj Mahal's new record that he did with Kev Mo. I met Taj Mahal. He worked on this documentary that I was a part of, American Epic. His knowledge of every kind of music is just breathtaking. He knows so much, and he's been around a long time. And uh, this is his new record. Taj, I got your record. Y'all, I'm stuck here in Chicago. Please don't. I got Leonard Cohen, You Want It Darker, because this is an, another incredible record that I fell in love with when we were touring late last year. And then of course he passed away, or he died as we say in Scotland, but I just saw the record and thought, oh, I'd like that on vinyl. My entire vinyl collection actually got destroyed about eight years ago. I had a terrible flood in my home in Scotland and it just destroyed all my vinyl. So I tend to like go around record shops now and buy all of my old vinyl, but then I always see new stuff too. So like I find that I'm overwhelmed going to record stores. 
Because you want everything. I want everything. Yeah. I'm lusting after your stuff as well. You can't have it. <laughs> Seem the better way. When first I heard him speak. Also in my bag. Oh, it's like my favorite band of all time, so. I don't know which one's better, Disintegration or Head on the Door, but this is the one I didn't have, so I grabbed this too. I can't wait to, you know, I have it on my computer, on my phone, on, you know, iPad, whatever, all that, but this is the real thing, so. Steve, I think you're really good at this. What, yeah. buying stuff? You're, yeah, you're really good at <laughs> buying stuff. <laughs> I am. Spider-Man. <laughs> That's all that's in my bag. That's not what's all in my bag. <laughs> you have more? I have more. This record, American Epic, I had to get because our guitarist and beloved friend, Duke Erickson, produced this monumental piece of work. It involved a PBS documentary. I believe there's a coffee book coming out and this is one of two records that's coming out to support the project. This is the soundtrack. It's been a, an incredible labor of love that Duke's been involved in. It's taken a decade to come together. And it's a, a sort of an exploration of the birth of American folk music, stroke blues and, and into rock music. Duke, you've just missed me talking about your project. So I have not had heard this yet on record, so I also chose that. <laughs> I got a PJ Harvey t-shirt because, again, she is my beloved touchstone. And I also had to ask for an Amoeba Records, Hollywood Records t-shirt because this is my hood, this is my record store, and I need to have this t-shirt. And that brings us to the end of what's in my bag. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes I believe Ah!